Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Once upon a time, there were two great friends called Jelly and Jackson, who went on to magical adventures. Let's go and make a jelly story. Their imaginations took them to wild jungles, deep seas and green fields. Live happily ever after with the Story Makers, weekdays at 9.40 on BBC Two. <laughs> Hello, this is CBB's home of your favourites. Coming up this morning, we've got the Teletubbies and the Tweenies at 10. But first, I think we should get into the Fimbly feeling, don't you? Now, the Fimbles, they like to find things, don't they? And to get into the Fimbly feeling, I think we should find something. Now, I found BB and Bracken's hutch, and we've also found BB. But do you know where Bracken is? Have you seen Bracken, BB? Hmm, I wonder where Bracken is. Well, she's not on the balcony. No, she's not on the stairs either. I wonder where she could be. Ah, there you are, Bracken. You found her. Well done. You must have the Fimbly feeling. Well, now it's time to go to Fimble Valley and join the Fimbles. Look, I found every girl, every boy, come on up. There's a world right here Full of wonder and surprise Let's go and find the thimbles! Thimbles, thimbles, thimbles We're the thimbles! Thimbles, thimbles, thimbles We're the thimbles! Sing along Are you two darlings off to? To find Thimbo. What's the matter, Pom? Oh, Pom, shoo. Shoo? <laughs> oh, I see. You've got the sneezel. <laughs> shoo. <laughs> oh, Thimbo. We were coming to find you. Thimbo? Pom, shoo. <laughs> yeah. Pom's got the sneezels, Fimbo. Oh dear, have you, Pom? Yes. <laughs> Poor Pom. Oh, what are we going to do? Oh, I know. Put your finger under your nose. That's what you do with the sneezels. Do you? I I'll show you. Like this, Pom. <laughs> there we are. See? All gone now. That's all gone. <laughs> well, that didn't work. Oh, well. Um, have you seen a stick anywhere? A stick? Will that help with the sneezels? No, I just need one for the game I'm playing. Oh. Come on, Pom. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I'm getting that fimbling feeling. <laughs> I can feel a twinkle. 
rattling, I can hear a sound. It's telling me there's something waiting to be found. Where is it? Where is it? What could it be? I think it might be over there. Let's go and see. Um, oh, is it here? No. Or is it there? Oh, can you see it anywhere? Um... Oh, oh it's a box! <laughs> oh, look! What's this? Paper! Oh, it's all soft! Uh, another one! A yellow one and a blue one! I'm going to go and show the others. Ah, oh, there's one. Found one, Flory. Oh, where's she gone? Fembo, Fembo, look what I found. Oh, yes, a box. Yeah, but look what's inside. What's that? Pull it. Oh, it came out. Hey, it's really light. <laughs> Look, it's floating. Ah, ma, ma. Wee. <laughs> <laughs> ma, ma. All right, ready, Pom. Wee. <laughs> <Hush -do. gasps> it caught Pom's sneeze on. <laughs> Rocket, I was just coming to find you. <laughs> what are you doing? Rocket, Rocket, look what I found! A box! And it's full of colours! Go on, Rocket, pull one out! What was that? What? It came from in there! A sneezel in the box! Oh, I think that was Pom! No, it came from the box! You look, Thimbo! Oh, all right! See, I told you, there are sneezels in there. No, there aren't. Uh, don't touch them, Thimbo. You'll catch the sneezels. I haven't got the sneezels. It's Pom. Did she take one of those? Yes, but... Uh, you see, I'm right. It's a box of sneezels. We must all keep away from it. Uh... I'll tell you what, Rocket. Leave it there. And let's go to the play dips. Look, I'll show you my new game. Cool, a game. <laughs> well, why didn't you say? You lead the way. <laughs> Come on, Rocket. <laughs> right, I'll hide you in there. I don't want you giving sneezels to anyone else. Rocket, I found another stick. Oh, good. Uh, Come in, Fimbo. Now, you stay there. Shh. Hey, I know a song about Sneasels, Pom. Shall I sing it to you? Oh, I sing. I sneeze. Okay, follow me. Sing, sing. Uh -huh. Ring a ring a roses, a pocket full of posies, a tissue, a tissue. We all fall down. down. <laughs> All right, you sing with me, Pom. Oh, Pom gets shoe fly. Good idea. Shall we wave them? Oh, thank you. Ready? <laughs> ring a ring a roses, a pocket full of posies. A tissue, yeah. they all fall down. <laughs> We're dancing, going this way, dancing, going back again. A sneezel, a sneezel, we all jump up. Hey! <laughs> oh, more shoe, more shoe. More? Oh, I haven't got any more, Pom. Where's the box? Oh, well, that's funny. Maybe Fimbo took it. More shoe, please. Let's go and ask Fimbo where the box is. Come on. Come on, come on. 
Mine's going to win! Yes! Hooray! Oh, what are you doing? I've made up a new game, Flory. It's called Racing Sticks. Oh, you have to blow them. And my stick won. And mine was second. <laughs> oh, Pom! You found a puddle. Puddle? Where did that come from? I don't know. It wasn't there before. <laughs> Maybe we blew too hard, Fimbo. <laughs> Ooh, that looked like a good game, Fimbo. Bessie! Bessie! Shoo! Well, I never, Pom. A tissue. Hello, tissue. It's a baby. That's right, Fimbo. She's little, like baby Pom. <laughs> She's having her dinner. Is that her dinner? Where are her crackers? <laughs> That's baby food, Fimbo. It's easy for her to eat. Hmm, she likes it. <laughs> She's getting very messy. Food all over her. <laughs> Tissues! That's like the box I found. Where's all the food gone? In the tissue. White Pom Sneasel. The tissue caught it. Oh, tissues are very good at cleaning things up. See, she's wiping her hands and the baby's hands. All clean now. I can do with this tissue. Hey, uh, what are you doing? Oh, I'm seeing if tissues mop up puddles. <laughs> yes, you see it works. Oh, it's gone all soggy. <laughs> <laughs> That's the puddle water. It's gone in the tissue. Oh, uh, but there's still a lot of puddle. Hmm. We need more tissues. Yes, I do. Oh, have you got the box, Fimbo? Oh, no. I thought you and Pom had it. No tissues. Oh, we haven't got it. Have you seen it, Rocket? Uh, me? Uh, 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 me? Rocket? Have you seen it? Uh, well, yes, of course I've seen it. Oh, well, where was it then? Oh, uh, where was it? Uh, maybe I saw it at the Purple Meadow. Oh, I'll go and look. Do you think he's going to find the box of Sneasels? <laughs> um, no, it's not here. It's not in the purple... Me Then it must be in the comfy corner then. Um. Oh, well, let's all go and look, Rocket. <laughs> yeah, good <laughs> idea. <laughs> oh, it's not here. No. Oh, we, we can't, can't find, find it anywhere. anywhere. Oh, dear. <laughs> goody, goody. <laughs> they haven't found the box of Sneasels. <laughs> oh, hello there. Oh, hello, Rowley. Oh, what's the matter? You all look a bit glum. We've been looking for a box of tissues, Rowley. Oh, have you seen it? A box, eh? Oh, no, no, I haven't. We've lost it. Lost it. Lost, eh? Oh, I always say, if something's lost, it's just waiting to be found. Hmm, I think I've got a story about that. Back in a Rowley mo. When you take a look inside a book, who knows what you will see? When you take a look inside a book, it's fun as fun can be. With cats and dogs and birds and frogs, a monkey who says boo, Ooh. wonderful things. 
giants and kings, and maybe a thimble or two. Oh, now, what have we here? When you take a look inside a book, who knows what you might see? A story or rhyme, just take the time to read along with me. Ah, lovely. Will this help us find our box of tissues, Roly? It might. You never know with lost things. Dory, Dory! <laughs> Are you sitting comfortably? Yes. Then I'll begin. This story is called The Giant's Blanket. It was evening and Giant was getting ready for bed. He put on his blue pyjamas, cleaned his teeth with his giant toothbrush, and read a bedtime story from his giant book. Then he snuggled down in his big warm bed to go to sleep. But something was missing. He hadn't got his special blanket to cuddle. Giant's blanket was soft and snuggly, and he never went to bed without it. I can't get to sleep without my blanket, he moaned. Where could he have left it? Giant got out of bed and started to search for his blanket. The first place he looked was under his bed. He found some money and a very old biscuit. <laughs> but he didn't find his special blanket. Maybe I had it at breakfast, said Giant to himself. He went into the kitchen. He opened up all his cupboards and looked inside. But there was no special blanket. Giant scratched his head. He couldn't think where he'd left it. At last, he gave a big yawn. He wanted to snuggle down in his warm bed and go to sleep. He pulled back the covers to get in, and there was his hanky. What's that doing in my bed? said Giant. It shouldn't be there. He went to put the hanky back in his trouser pocket, ready for the morning. But there was something already in the pocket. Do you know what it was? His special blanket. My hanky was in my bed, and my blanket was in my pocket, said Giant. Ho oh, ho, what a mix-up. Giant snuggled down in his warm bed with his special blanket. And in no time at all, he was fast asleep and snoring. <laughs> so the Giant's blanket wasn't really lost? Not really. It was only waiting to be found. Where did you get the tissue? Tissue! It's pink! We didn't have a pink one before. Tissue! More tissue! <laughs> I think Pom's found your box of tissues. <laughs> she must have been sitting on it all the time. Oh, well done, Pom. Now we'll be able to finish mopping up the puddle. Uh, don't, Flurry. Don't take one out. Oh, why not, Rocket? Uh, it's a box of sneezles. You'll catch the sneezles just like Pom. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Rocket. It is not a box of sneezles. They're just tissues. Look! Cur, you're not sneezling. I told you, Rocket, the sneezles came from Pom. They weren't in the box. Cur, so I didn't have to hide the box after all. <gasps> you hid the box. No wonder we couldn't find it. Oh, oh Rocket! Cur, <laughs> 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 I think Pom wants you to throw them in the air again. OK, uh, let's all do it. Everyone grab a tissue. We'll do the uh, tissues with the tissues. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Day. The Fembles had a busy day today. Who found the box of tissues first? It was Flory. 
Flory found the box of tissues. <laughs> Rocket thought the sneezels came from the box. <laughs> so he hid it. Then Flory found out that you can use tissues to mop up. But they couldn't find where the box had gone until who found it? That's right. It was Little Bomb, wasn't it? <laughs> Bless my wings. No, of course you can't. You can't catch the sneezels from a tissue. <laughs> Perhaps you've used tissues for your sneezels. Come and find us next time, won't you? I must fly. Something beginning at ten. Red, yellow, red. Mm. I spy with my little eye something beginning at ten. <laughs> oh, big feet. <laughs> I spy with my little eye something beginning at ten. Oh, spiky hair. Have you guessed what it is yet? Yes, it's the Tweenies. Ten o'clock is Tweeny time. Make sure you're watching CBB's Weekdays at Ten on BBC Two. Morning. Hello there. Oh, hello. It's a lovely day for a walk. I'm taking a walk down a very special road. It's called Zoo Lane, and I'm looking for a number. Ah, here it is. 64 Zoo Lane. 64, 64, 64, Zulane. 64, 64, 64, Zulane. Hello, I'm Lucy. I live at 64 Zulane and I have some very special neighbours. Look! There's one with a hump and one who can jump and one who is well a little bit blind. 64, 64, 64, Zulane. Some like it hot and some like it chill. Story of the Puffins of Mossy Bay. Hi, everyone. Hi, Lucy. Why is Nelson facing the wrong way? Because he's in a grumpy mood. No, I'm not. What happened? Nelson wanted to tell you a story, but we said he couldn't. Why? Because it's got football in it, and we told him you didn't like football. Oh, I don't mind football. See? Really? Really. Well, in that case, I suppose if Nelson still wants to tell his story... Nelson? Yes? I'd like to hear your story. Are you sure? Yes. Come on, don't be such an old sulky trunk. Come on, Nelson! Very well, then. If we're all agreed. Yes! yes! This is the story of the puffins from Mossy Bay. It was a lovely morning in Mossy Bay, and for once, Hercule Moustache was feeling happy. Ah, on a day like today, Hercule. There is no more a perfect spot than Mossy Bay. So peaceful. Uh, what is this? 
Isso! Do now. I'll go and ask for our ball back. Oh. Sharon was very brave. Everyone knew how grumpy her cool moustache could be. <coughs> oui. uh, can I help you? Uh, we're very sorry, Mr. Uh, sir. Can we have our ball back, please? Is this your ball? Uh -huh. The one that struck me on the head? <coughs> it was an accident. <coughs> Oh, an accident. Mais oui. Like the noise you make outside of my house. Like disturbing all the neighborhood. And then, poof, you kick the ball against my head in my own garden. Sorry. I will keep the ball for now. Good day. They don't be the same. They make all the noise. All the... <laughs> the puffins were feeling sad. How could they play without their ball? Then Jamie spotted Thelma the whale. Hey, look. Thelma's got a ball. Mrs. Mrs. Whale, whale, can we borrow your ball, please? Thanks. We'll look after it. Oh, my God. Oh, 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 and he's through on goal. He must score, surely. Oh, no! Oh, well done, Thomas. It wasn't me. It was the rock. Well, we'll have to get this ball back. We promised Thelma we'd look after it. Someone will have to go into Hercules' cave. No way! Oh, you're the quickest, Jamie. You'll be in and out without him even knowing. You've got to do it, Jamie. We'll let you play up front. OK. Yeah! yeah. Good, Good boy! Go, Jamie! That is not your ball, and this is private property. I... Uh, oh. Follow me, little puffin. What are all these for, Mr. Mr. Mustache? They are prizes for football, a game you have been trying to play with very little success. You? You used to play football? Don't no sound so amazed. I was the best guardian of the goals in the region. Guardian of the goals? Goalkeeper. I was a goalkeeper. I'm a centre forward. You are hopeless. You never pass the ball. What you need is someone to train this terrible team of yours. A trainer? But who would train us? I'm now retired, of course. I'm very busy, but perhaps... Oh, I don't think we're really... You would like your ball back? Um, I don't suppose you'd like to be on your trainer, Mr. Moustache? But Hercule was a very tough trainer. <gasps> no, no, no! We are not having a picnic! We are training! 61, 62, 63! I thought we were supposed to be playing football. I am the trainer here. Keep jumping! This is crazy. Hercule was delighted. His plan was working. Today, we play our first football match. Hey, it's cool. Cool. That's cool. Oh, oh, really cool. Cool. Where's the other team? It's Jack Big Claw! Rockpool crabs? Are they really 
very good? Mais oui. Yes, I am sure that we will lose the game by many goals, but we have to start somewhere. Good luck to you all. The Puffins were determined to win the match just to prove Hercule wrong. Okay, let's go. Jamie, you play center forward. Strain forever. One minute left. No, no, this is the other way. of crabs. <laughs> Every day on the CBBS channel. CBBS is available with others on cable, satellite, and now Freeview, a new 30-channel lineup. For your free guide, call 08700 101010. Hello, this is CBBS, and down here we have BB, and over here, come and have a look. We've got Bracken. Say hello, Bracken. Now, we know you like BB and Bracken because you keep sending in your pictures. And I have one here. Look. This was drawn and sent in by Heidi. I think Bracken likes this one. And Bracken is at the top of Heidi's picture here. And then further down, we can see BB. And Heidi's got the colours just right. And Heidi's given BB and Bracken a carrot each. Thanks for sending that picture in, Heidi. I think BB and Bracken are going to love those carrots. Now, you can join BB and Bracken at 6 o'clock for the bedtime hour on the CBeebies channel. And June Whitfield this week... Oh, such a fool. I hope 